Videotaping a wedding has to be one of the most demanding and rewarding things you can do for a friend or family member. That is, if you do it well. I'm Nigel Barker, and I'm gonna give you a few tips to make sure you'll bring back great footage, and you will if you follow these simple tips. First thing you need to remember is that at a wedding, in reality, there's two different kinds of event, the formal ceremony and the fun reception. So you'll need equipment that's up to the challenge. Some of the new camcorders come with so many features and technological advancements that shooting a wedding and the reception are easier than ever before. Mark here is gonna be shooting a friend's wedding, right? Yeah, in about a week. Well then, we better get started. If possible, start by attending the rehearsal because it's at the rehearsal you can check out where the power is located, avoid problems with lighting, find a place where you can shoot, where you're out of the way and it's a great time to consult with both the bride and the groom about any last minute request. And if there's not gonna be a rehearsal, get to the wedding early and scout the location. There is a rehearsal and I'm going. Good. Next, choose the right gear. Video equipment changes all the time. You don't need to have the highest end gear, but a camera that shoots in high definition video will give you clear and crisp footage. You're also gonna need a tripod, remote microphone, plenty of hard drive space, extra batteries, and or an extension cord. Oh, and of course, a gift for the bride and groom. Got it, I got it. Okay, another tip. Shoot dramatic low light scenes, because the first dance and the first kiss are all details that make the wedding so special. Many times, those particular scenes are in very low dramatic light, so shining a hot light on this scene will pull the emotion right out of it. This camera happens to come with a low light sensor that would automatically adjust your setting to ensure these types of shots look fantastic. If your camera doesn't have this feature, I'd make sure you play around with the camcorder settings to find one that will work in these types of situations. And remember, you need to take lots of footage, get wide shots of the event location, and shoot details of the flower arrangements, special touches and colors that are all around. In fact, shoot everything. You'll be editing it later, and the more you have, the easier it'll be. So you'll need a camcorder like this one that comes with a large built-in hard drive. If the one you're shooting with doesn't have a built-in memory, make sure you have plenty of extra media on hand. You know, tapes, mini DV, or whatever the media you're using. I can do it. I know you can. Now, I just have one more thing to learn. And what might that be? Do you know a cool way to shoot the funky chicken? Uh, I'm more of a funky given expert myself. I'm Nigel Barker, and as you can see, Sony makes it easy to get the best shot.